Hey guys, let's get into the video. So I'm using the Beauty Bay Berries palette. This is the 16 pan palette. And I'm going in with the ABH um, eyeshadow primer. I love this primer so much just because it's very creamy and it also dries down matte. So I'm just going to use that to set up as my base for my eyeshadow so it pops. I only use the berries palette for this look. So I use one, the deepest um, berry shade and I was just using that as my outer vein. Um, so Beauty Bay came out with like about a couple of palettes recently. They have like the earthy tone, um, there's a blue tone and a purple tone one and then there's the berries one. These are just permanent collection from the other palettes that they've brought out but like people missed out on. I know I missed out on a lot of the palettes because I, was, I wasn't so sure about the formula. So for this palette, the mattes are amazing, very pigmented, creamy. However, I feel like the um, shimmers were not really as shimmery as I thought. In the pan, they look very shimmery, but like when I was applying them, they were not really coming out that way. They're a little bit like hard pressed. So I'm going to try their other palettes and see which one I actually like. But like the shades were very pretty, but they just were not like that shimmery as I thought they would be so that was kind of like a bummer but honestly the look came out really well so I was you know I was happy with the look and I'm just applying my lashes these are the linen lashes um, that I've used I've used this several times and then I'm priming with the um, soft matte primer by Fenty I love this primer it has solely become my favorite primer it's very sticky so it's your makeup is going to adhere to it a lot better and then I'm going in with my e.l.f. color correcting stick. It's the perfect like orangey peachy tone stick for me and it actually like helps me color correct. So sometimes trying to find a good color correcting shade is very important. And then I use this new um, Makeup Forever HD foundation. I love the formulation and it's actually a good, good, you know, foundation. The only problem is the shade. The shades are a little bit off and I was kind of annoyed by that but i used my um estee lauder foundation in expresso that one is a little bit dark actually not a little bit it's a lot dark so i used that and that was what kind of cancelled out you know the orangeness because it was just too orange for me and i'm sure i mean my camera is not really showing how it looks but it was orange and then i'm going in with this concealer from abh i think this is number 27 or 19 i think it's 19 actually 19 I'm using that. I love this concealer. It's very creamy, which I like because I like to have more of a creamy um, concealer under my eyes. And then I'm going with the Fenty Match Stick in Express. So I like this stick because it's more of like a bronzy shade than more of a contour, which I like. I tend to bronze rather than contour, to be honest. And it blends out really well. Like I'm obsessed with this stick and it's a little bit i'm kind of feeling some type of because i'm like damn i didn't know this was that good because with reviews people were saying it was a little bit like dry it's not drying to me at all i love it so i'm just blending as usual you got to blend it takes me forever to blend but you have to blend okay and i use i was just going in with the patrick tar powder i not patrick tar patrick star by mac powder I didn't show you the, the stuff because I forgot, but that's the powder that I use to set um, set my face. And then I'm just doing the same thing that I did under my eyes. I mean, on top of my eyes, like my for my crease, I'm doing the same thing under. You know what? This look is not bad. However, I just wish I blended um, the edges a little bit, but mm, it is what it is. We learn, okay? So, don't come for me, okay? And then I'm going in with this Fenty powder, and this is in 470. It's darker than my own sh um, shade, but I liked it because it was more of like a bronzer shade for me, and it was more, it was softer rather than the Fenty bronzer that I like, Mocha Mami. This one was a softer take to the bronzer. And then I'm going in with this Mac, not Mac, Milani blush in Red Vino. You guys, I'm obsessed with Milani blushes. They are one of my favorite drugstore blushes, hands down. Period. Okay. And then I'm using this Makeup Addiction um, Highlighter in Bronzified. It's a pretty um, highlighter. I can never finish this highlighter. That's just the truth. And then I'm using Scorpio by Juvia's Place to line my lips. And then I use my um, concealer actually as my lip color. 
I tend to use that and it's it works out for me and then I use this Kiko lip gloss I think in number two and that's pretty much it guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe let me know what you think about this look and I'll see you guys in my next video bye